Hello viewers, welcome back you all. In now, in this video, we will learn how to take inputs from the user and how to print the output to the user. So here, how to take input from user in R programming. There are two methods in R, read line method and the scan method. So using read line method, whatever will be read by the uh, interpreter, it will be string only. So we need to convert it into the data type that we want. So there are few data types that I, I will be definitely discussing in the very next video, the five, five classes of atomic data objects of R programming. So here in read line method, if you want the input as integer you need to convert it into the integer using as dot integer function okay and if you want it as numeric numeric is just a real type float or double etc then you have to use as dot numeric if you want a complex method then you have to convert it into as dot complex then as dot date any type you can convert it okay so you can see these are some of the codes that I've taken from geek for geek site. You must be very much aware of it. I've taken that code from there just to make a slide. Okay. And there is, if you want multiple inputs in R, right? So read line comment can be used just by including multiple read line comment and that has to be there using within braces. Okay. Within braces, you can have multiple read line, read line functions, storing it into different variable. Okay, then again, you can directly put as dot integer just after read line. We'll do it now in the coding part. Okay, so this is the method we take input from the user. There is another method that we have uh, mentioned here that is a scan method. Like if you want multiple values to be taken by the user that has to be there in the single variable then you have to use a scan method see here the scan method like every input will be there in the x variable so scan method is taking input continuously and to terminate that input process you need to press enter key two times on the console okay so this method reads data in the form of a vector or a list okay so if you provide string also numbers also floating number also then it will become list and if you are providing all the values as integer it will become vector means as you know uh, the vector here in our programming it contains similar data type and the list contains the different data type okay and one more thing in a scan method if you want explicitly the input in a double data type or in character data type then you need to mention that in the scan function using what argument okay and the file you can also read file data using a scan method this is the way you can read this file double dot txt for double you can read this file string dot this is a file name where something is written there and we are reading that file using a scan method because character by character or number by number it is reading until you are just entering the enter key two times okay so this is the method and this is another some uh, some screenshots of the code taken from the geek for geek site you can just see here just pause here in this video see to each of the line and try to code it into your R studio and try to learn whether this output is coming or not Till then, we'll go into the R studio and perform the same task. Okay, see here, if I'm taking input in a variable one using read line method, I just need to this is the way we can write it. Okay, if I'm saving this file and try to run here, um, yeah, it is asking for the number. If I do it, it is taking the number in variable one and printing that. One more thing that we can do here in the read line that we can prompt a message to the user using prompt argument like what, what to do. Like here, 
nothing no messages are displaying so you can display a message enter a number or enter a name whatever you want to you just need to do it like control s then uh, enter a number that 34 and then enter this is just printing the 34 okay and one more thing like if you want a number as you can see here in the output the output is character see here the output is character you want to convert it into integer so you can convert here after taking the number and store it into the same variable like as dot in either that is where one you can do that also now you can see that string double quote mark has been removed because we have changed it into integer and the same thing can be done in a single line directly here this is the way we can do it so for that i'm just making this line as a comment oh sorry this hash we are not doing c programming okay so control s yeah enter a number 45 the same thing okay so this is read line method and in the same way if you want to do it multiple times you, you need to just have like here one more time control V then variable 2 you need to keep it into braces and after that you can print it there are two variables variable 1 and variable 2 so I am just printing variable 1 and variable 2 after taking the input okay let's see whether we are doing right or not enter number 45 enter another number 56 yes 45 and 56 this is the way we can take input in two line command okay and another method there is a scan method that you can use here for a scan method you need to have this one only and then you are going to print it print the x okay so here i'm just entering 34 now i'm entering two times this so it has read five items and made a vector of five items so this is the another method of taking input from the user okay what else we have learned that if you want only integer you just need to keep it into here So here, 23, 23, 3 and 4, 4 items are there. Okay, so in that way you can mention the what type of data you want from the scan. So these are the 3 methods from which you can take input from the user. Okay, so I think this is all for this video. We'll learn how to print the output in different way. In the very next video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the like button thank you so much